Hello, I'm Joseph Rubeck. I'm going to complete the cords up the neck segment of the demonstration. I've mentioned that you can take screenshots of these. That's why I hold my hand still for a bit. You don't have to stop the video to do that, but you do have to know how to do it on your device. Mine is an iPhone 7, and I have to press this button and this button at the same time to take it. So I'm going to start the video and take it. It's going to make a little square down here at the bottom, which I want to tap on as soon as I see it so it doesn't go away. Otherwise, it'll go quickly to your photos. So... Tap on it. So you have that. Then on my phone you have all these markers that you can use. And I'm going to use this one. And it's on as bold as it can get, so that's what I want. So now I'm just going to write a D on here. So that I know that's a D chord. Then I hit done and save to photos. You can't quite see that, but that's what it's doing. So then I will go to photos and there it is. It has the D, you can't quite see it well. It has the D written on it and I didn't quite get the picture I wanted, but you get the idea. So and that's how you take screenshots, and then you can put a note on there, a chord name, so that you can file it for yourself. So that's all about screenshots. So finishing up here, um, now we're at the point of the octave. So everything that you did down here, you're going to do up here pretty much exactly the same because, again, this is the octave. Now, the, one of the differences is, instead of putting a capo on, you're going to use your fingers here. So that's a D chord. And then G chord. Note the finger positions. D chord. Now the A chord's a little different. You go because you have this note, a C sharp. You didn't have it down there because that's where the fretboard ended. So D, G, D, A. And then these are the same positions. Again, not using the second finger. D. G, D, A. Same as D, G, D, A. D, G, D, A. And then D, G, D, A. Same as D, G, D, A. And then you go to another octave, and you have the third octave, which you can do just a little bit of. So this is D, G, D, G, D, A. I almost never use that for anything because it just doesn't sound that good to my ear. So again, D, G, finger is here this time. D, G, D, A. D, G, D, A. Same as D, G, D, A. D, G, D, A. DGDA third octave. So what this allows you to do is play not just chord groupings of 
I'm going to back it up here this time, I'm going to back it up here this time, I'm going to back it up here. You can mix and match. So I'll just do something that m really mixes things up. Um, when you're doing this for yourself, you want to do it so that it pleases your ear, and that's all. So here's a mix-up. Cabbage down, boys, there's no skull cakes round. The only sound that I can hear is brand new skull cakes down. Brand new skull cakes down, boys, through the little town. The only song that I can sing is Bowling Cabbage Down. Bowling Cabbage Down, boys, through the little cakes round. The only song that I can sing is Bowling Round. The only song that I can sing is Boiling Cabbage Down. Boiling Cabbage Down. Boiling Cabbage Down. The only song that I can sing is Boiling Cabbage Down. So you can mix and match your chord backup. Now another thing that this will allow you to do is to play a scale using the chords. So D, A, G, D, G, D, G, A, D, D, A, G, D, G, D, A, D. And this will allow you to play full chords for notes that you might want to play. Uh, for instance, um, let's do... Will the circle be unbroken? I'm sorry. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. So you can mix it up and you can start playing some melody stuff with single notes in there. Another important thing to do is when you're going down, you're, a, a, a pickup chord that you'll want is D, A, D, G, D. And that's just the G like you learned it before. So. Hence the importance of having a lubricated fretboard so that you can just so you can move around without your fingers sticking. Um, there'll be places where you can use this no matter what your style is. You certainly don't have to adopt everything. I'm the only person I know that plays fiddle tunes and things with full chords for every note. Here's a little bit of Arkansas Traveler. That's chords all the way up to the third octave and you need to slide you need to have your fast fret on there you need to be in tune and it will just open up new possibilities you just have to experiment with it and see what you like and that's it for now